I started configuring a new Cisco 9000 switch, which is the uh, next version in their upgrade path from their 5K series. And I was doing some testing with some uh, VLAN ACLs and uh, noticed when I went in the logs that there was an error message stating that the VLAN ACLs didn't support deny statements. So I am just going to take a little look into uh, that stuff and see if I can find a, an answer on if it was a, maybe a misconfiguration on my part or if the 9K switch really isn't supporting deny statements and backles, which at that point, not quite sure really what the purpose of the backles are. So. So, for those who haven't used backles before, they're pretty cool. They um, allow you to attach a uh, ACL to uh, any type of VLAN. So normally you'll do a uh, VLAN access map where you attach uh, an ACL to the, the access map, and then um, you have a VLAN filter command which you then uh, tie together the access map that you created and the particular VLANs that you want the uh, access map to be attached to. So it's kind of a, a neat way to be able to do um, layer three filtering on traffic that is just residing within, uh, within the VLAN without actually being routed outside of it. So, um, let's see, VLAN logging is not supported, which always sucks. Session manager to configure ACLs. I'm sure session manager is probably some type of software that they probably make you pay for with some type of license, so that kind of sucks too. But you definitely don't need to do that because I've written a whole bunch of ACLs to go on these 9Ks. Uh, support the backle redirect option. Deny statements are not support on backles. Alternatively, you can use permit statements with the action drop to achieve similar outcomes. Interesting. Okay, so that kind of starts to point me in the right direction there as far as what I want to do. I wonder if they have any examples that we can look at here. Something else that's always kind of interesting with the um, the backles is if you're trying to mix it with IPv4 traffic and IPv6 traffic, depending on the switch, sometimes you can't actually apply it to both. So that's something to, to keep in mind. Oh when you want to go and implement these somewhere. So like I said, you're going to create an access map. And access maps normally have sequence numbers. And then your action attached to that. So what that means is in the old way that you would do this on these nexuses, you would have your ACL, it would have permit statements, it would have deny statements, and you really would only create one statement in your access map. And depending upon what you were doing in the ACL, if it was permitted, then you would allow the traffic through. If it was denied, then obviously you're, you're dropping that traffic. So here, it looks like we're changing it back to only permit certain things. And if those certain things 
aren't in that initial ACL, then you probably would do uh, another ACL, which is a catch-all, which would match everything. Uh, make that another statement under the access map, and then do a, uh, where is it? And then do an action of drop on that. Um, it's always good to do the statistics on there. see if they got some examples here. And like I said, so you, you create an ACL. In this case, with the updates to the 9K, you're gonna have to create two ACLs. And then um, you do those with the access map statements. So two access map statements for what you wanna permit and what you wanna deny. And then you take the VLAN filter command, which is right here. And that right there is the name of your access map that you created, and then you attach it to the specific VLANs that you want um, those ACLs attached to. Let's see. Uh, configuration examples. Of course, no good backle information there as far as a configuration example. So. I'm gonna to have to play around with that at work and see if I can get that to take this the way that I want it to and make sure that it doesn't error out my VLANs like it did yesterday when I was testing it. So well, let's see if there's anybody, any comments anywhere on anything, not really. Uh, let's see. Since I'm on here, I might as well take a look over here. All right. Well, if that is it, I'm going to shut this down for now and I will chat with everybody later. All right, take care.